This is Daniel Tokar at the Willow Ford in Shepherdstown, West Virginia on New Year's Eve 2019. I've kind of taken a hiatus for the past month from YouTube because being a uh, working shop, I had an awful lot of work to get done for Christmas and personal things, so I haven't posted anything for the last month or so. I'm going to go back and revisit one of the concepts uh, that I spoke about in an earlier video. Uh, I said that individual techniques are like letters in an alphabet, and you put these letters together to make different words. You build up a vocabulary of different things. Uh, and then you have a grammar, a design, that allows you to assemble uh, these words into a meaningful and hopefully beautiful object. So to illustrate this, I have two bars in the fire. These are uh, 5 sixteenths thick, half an inch wide, and I'm going to make the same scroll um, using two different uh, uh, vocabularies. We're going to have two different words based on this. So. I've gotten this one nice and hot. I draw a point and then turn that into a taper. And I'm tapering both dimensions, so thickness and width. So what I've got here is a taper that is approximately six inches long that takes the full thickness of the bar down to about an eighth of an inch and the full width of the bar down to about an eighth of an inch. Put that back in the fire. And I'm just going to make one of the standard um, a logarithmic style scrolls. That's another video I'm going to have to make is, is uh, show you the difference between arithmetic spirals, logarithmic, logarithmic spirals, um, helixes, helixes. Uh, other geometric shapes. And when you've got something tapered out that small, you have to be careful not to burn the tip off. It heats up very quickly. So I start off making a little bit of a curl over the edge of the anvil. And you'll notice that I'm constantly changing the angle of the bar to the anvil and also the angle of my hammer to the bar and the anvil. And this is a constant correction to hit the, uh, the developing spiral in the direction that corrects the shape. So if I'm constantly moving it and tapping it, I can end up with a scroll that looks like that. There it is, a little bit better corrected. Okay, now I'm going to use this piece of paper 
to give you a, a close-up background view of this scroll. Okay, that is a freehand a logarithmic scroll with sort of a negative space halfpenny end, if you wanted to describe that. Because what you're seeing is the white space is red as sort of a scroll with a halfpenny on it. And the uh, bar itself, the black, is sort of like the line delineating the empty space inside. See, blacksmiths can use art speak too. So that is one way of making a scroll this size. You'll notice that the taper, which runs in both directions, gives you a different effect depending on where you're seeing, what direction you're viewing it from. And it also makes the terminus of that much finer. Now, if I wanted to correct that, I could even tap it even now. And make that look a little different. Again, we're looking at the negative space as much as the uh, black line. All right, so that's making that scroll, that spiral, with a tapered bar. Now, one of the ways you can tell real traditional blacksmithing work from some of the modern reproductions that are poorly done I uh, hate to say this, but if you go to places like Walmart or Pier 1 or any of those kinds of places, uh, they have a lot of bent metal that purports to be quote-unquote wrought iron uh, that was bent by machines, uh, cold, uh, arc welded together. Not very pretty stuff. So here we have the same stock size, the 5 16 by half, but I haven't tapered it. And I am going to make a scroll without the taper. And it is much more difficult to form the scroll because part of what happens when you have that distal taper is it actually makes it easier to make a spiral. I'm going to adjust this a little bit. Basically, what we've got is a spiral, but you'll notice that without the taper, you end up with a sort of a flat stub end on the bar. You end up with no taper that way. And even though these two, I'm going to have to try and do this the hard way here. These two spirals are the same spiral. I'm holding both bars together like that. And you see, that is essentially the same spiral. They are the same shape, but because the one bar 
is tapered. I don't know if you can read, see that visually, but the one bar is tapered and the other bar was just scrolled with the flat end. So this is an illustration of what I mean by a vocabulary. If you have the vocabulary of a tapered bar and the vocabulary, the letter of a spiral scroll, and you put them together, you get one. If you don't have the tapered bar and you just make the scroll, you have a different word. You have the second one. And this is one way I can illustrate again. These are two different vocabulary words. And it is a way of telling the difference between more complex work and simpler work. Anyway, that's it for this one. Bye.